Hi guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes education specialist. Today I'm going to talk to you about milk. Now, I have a lot of milk addicts in my practice and I tell them this. All right, so I'm going to tell you what I'm telling them. So basically, milk comes in different shapes and forms, right? So when you say milk, you kind of pretty much you know, talk very general. I'm like, what kind of milk are we talking about here? Is it a whole milk? Uh, is it a milkshake? And what are we talking about here? And it's surprising, you know, what, what funny things my patients will say. But the bottom line is, uh, to not to waste your time here, um, it's okay to have milk. Uh, it's better than actually uh, all these beverages that are full of sugar. Actually, one cup of uh, milk will have only 12 grams of carbs. Uh, the glycemic is not that high. Glycemic index or glycemic load is not that high. If you're limiting your intake to only eight ounces or so, that's perfectly fine. Uh, and you can have whole uh, whole fat milk uh, because that, that's a saturated fat, but saturated fat is not necessarily bad for you. It's just that you don't want to have too much of that milk because then you will have too much fat and that will cause too much weight gain. Uh, you know, I would think that the milk uh, actually will improve your satiety and will make you feel full. But I wouldn't recommend just drinking milk and going to bed either. Again, anything you put to your body, if you're not burning that calories, it's just going to turn into fat. You know, what do you expect, right? Bottom line is you can use milk uh, and yogurt as a snack. So full fat or whole fat, whole milk is all fine. You just need to keep your portion size small and uh, be happy with it. So that's all I'm going to say. Have a wonderful day, guys. Guys, remember to subscribe and remember to give a thumbs up and share this video with the family and friends.